Hello, good day viewers, welcome to Chemistry Hangout. If you are just watching this channel for the very first time, kindly subscribe to this channel. This is one of the best channels as far as chemistry content is concerned. If you are already my subscriber, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you for the 20k subscribers. I love you guys. Your encouragement, your motivations, they, are, they keep me going. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate. Uh, for the GC students, I have dropped a content for you. If you are doing GC 23, I have dropped one of the content for you guys. I want to believe you have watched it. I want to quickly do something today. I just want us to catch on with chemistry. I discovered most of, you know, chemistry students, especially secondary school, sometimes they understand the subject matter, but to be able to answer questions correctly are difficult. Some people have sent some questions to me, so I will just try and explain, then show us how to answer chemistry questions, very important. So if you are doing GC2, you have to watch this video. If you are in SS1, you have to watch this video. If you are in SS3, you are preparing for your, you know, WIAC for next year, you have to watch this video. It will be beneficial to us. I love you guys. If you are actually just watching this channel, I want you to pay maximum attention. If you are watching me on YouTube, then if you are already my subscriber, thank you. You can always find me on Facebook too, Chemistry Hangout. You can find me on Facebook, Chemistry Hangout. Follow the page. A lot of practicals, a lot of teachings is going to be dropping too on Facebook. So if you are watching me on YouTube, you can watch on Facebook too. Same channel, Chemistry Hangout. So let's go to what we have for today. The diagram below is an incomplete electronic configuration of oxygen atom with the first three electrons filled in. So they fill two into the one S orbital and they fill one into these two S orbital, making it to the three electrons. Okay. Then I say copy and complete it, filling in the remaining electrons. How are you able to do this? Now look at the second question. Name the, name the rules or principles applied in writing electronic configuration. Meaning, if you are writing or you are filling this very particular orbitals, there is a rule that should govern you. If you have not watched that video. That's why most of the exercise I'm going to be solving will be some of the teachings I have dropped. So if you have not watched the video, there is a video on this channel that is titled Sub-Level, Energy Level and Sub-Level. You can check the videos on the channel. I'll drop the link in the comment se section. Yeah, I'll drop the link to that video. So go and watch that video so that you can understand what I'm doing here. The, the, the video is Sub-Level, Energy Level and Sub-Level of electronic configuration of atoms. So I will drop it in the comment section. So check it so that you can watch it. So now we said, copy and complete it, filling in the remaining electron. So if you don't understand this, you will not be able to fill the electron. So name the rules or principle applied in writing the electronic configuration. Now, this is a question. Look at it. The normal way, you are supposed to write one S2. You get. 2s, you're supposed to write 2s1 because s can contain as one number of 2. But they didn't indicate it. It's not like they don't know. They deliberately did not indicate it. Do you understand that? So please learn how to, don't give them extra. Because when you give extra is on chemistry question, mark will not be allotted to you. So just be, be, be focused on what they ask you to do so that you get it right. So let's go. Copy and complete it, filling in the remaining electrons. So the first thing I will ask myself, very important, oxygen is mentioned. Okay, so I have to know what is the atomic number of oxygen you know, from our normal rudiment chemistry, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, you understand? So if you count that, you are going to have oxygen with atomic number 8. Atomic number 8. So oxygen is atomic number 8. You are not going to write this for them in the... You know, I'm just using this as an explanation to answer this now. So. Oxygen is atomic number 8. And if you follow the rules, let me answer this. Name the three rules. It's in that very particular video I'm dropping in the comment box section. The three rules that must be applied. Number one, we have the Ohm's rule. Very important. We have two, we have the Pauli exclusion principle. We have the Pauli exclusion principle. And the last one, we have the alpha bars principle. These are three rules. So the answer to this, strictly, the answer to this, name the rules or principles applied in writing the electronic configuration. So the answer to the B is this. The B is this. So if you write this, you get the full one. 
very clear. So it is this rule that I will now use to answer this. Very important. I have done all this in that teaching. So go and watch that teaching. They will now understand what I'm doing here. So for eight now. So what do I do? Using our Aphomas principle. You know, Aphomas principle is saying that when you are feeling electron in an orbital, the one with lower energy must be filled before the one with higher energy. Is there in the video whose rule states that when feeling electron in an orbital, it must be singly filled before carrying a cup is in that video. Pauli exclusion principle state that no two electrons can have the same numbers for the four quantum number is there in the video. These are what those rules are saying. So for me to be able to write this for oxygen now, you know oxygen will follow the the format 1s2, 2s2. This is 4. So after the 2s move the 2p. So if this is 4, we are going to 8. So 4 p can contain maximum number of c. You see that now. And it's not what is remaining here, 2 and 2, that's 4. So 4 minus 8, it will be remaining 4. 8 minus 4, that will be remaining 4. So P will be what will be 4. You see that now. So I'm coming here now to fill. Look at that now. So I'm completing this now. So how do I complete this? With the first three electrons filled. So they fill the first three. So 1S, 2, can you see that? 2S is supposed to be 2, but they filled 1. So I'm going to complete it. You see? So people will not say, sir, why didn't you write it like this? No, you cannot write it like this because you are violating a particular rule. You know, this question is looking more like this. So I will explain that. If you write it like this, you have violated this rule. You have violated this rule. So, so, so very important to be two. Then we have P4. Look at that, P4. You have to understand this rule. I just stated it. When filling electron and orbital, electron must be singly filled. So, which means I'm feeling singly first. I'm going to four. I'm feeling singly one, two, three. Can you see that? It's the remaining one now. Four. Correct. So, copy and complete it, filling in the remaining electrons. So, I filled the remaining electrons. I filled one here. Then I filled the remaining four. That is what they asked me. So, we will not say, sir, but they did not write the two. They did not write the two. They did not write the four. If when they were giving you the question, they should have written their two, but they did not write it. You leave it for them. They, under, they understand what they are asking you. So they are not going to penalize you for that. Because in their own question, they didn't indicate one as two. So I can start to just read. They said, fill in the remaining electron. You see that question, fill it. So they have filled it. So if you have done something like this, you are correct. So if you are writing GC, you are in SS1, you are taking any secondary school exam. Just understand this. Why? Let the rules or principle apply in writing the electronic configuration. I've set the rule. One, whose rule? On the exclusion principle. Because if you don't understand this whose rule, you go and do something like this. If you don't understand that whose rule, you know, because it's 2, 3, 4, you go and do something like this. One, two, one, two. You will be wrong. Okay, this is different from this. Because why? You have violated whose rule. You see that now. So very important. So it's, it's, it's supposed to be one, two, Three and four. So that's that. Name the rules and principles applied. You have done that. Now look at this. This is now looking more like this. Look at this. They said this is model one. This one is a model one. This one is another model. So it's just like two in one person. This is a model. This is another model. Then I said state which rule is violated or obeyed by each model. So this is the first model. This is the second model. Now let's check this. What is the rules that we need to write this? We need post rule. And what is post rule saying? You must fill singly before pairing of all. That is the rule. You must fill singly. But look at this. S used to contain maximum number of two, correct? But look at P. Instead of going to fill one, one. Can you see? Because post rule is saying you should fill singly. But now they give singly because this is supposed to enter into this. So for this one now, for the 2A now, number one, for the, the first model, for the first model, one, which of the rule is violated? Whose rule is violated? Model one. It's supposed to fit singly. So whose rule? Whose rule violated? Whose rule is violated here? Okay, the name violates. Poly exclusion principle. What's the meaning of poly exclusion principle? Let me explain. You say that no two electrons can have the same number for all four quantum number. The simple meaning is this. Meaning, in any orbital, 
electron, what will be facing up and what will be facing That has the meaning of the grammar I've just said. So, meaning, if you are seeing anything like this, what you are obeying is what? Is Pauli exclusion principle. But look at this. Is Pauli exclusion principle obeyed? No. Pauli exclusion principle is valid and because the two electrons is adding up. So, which means two Pauli exclusion principle violated the first model. Let's see. Okay. One S. After one S, look at that. After one S, we have P. Do you see? So we have S, we have P. So if we are moving from S to P, it means that Alphabet's principle is respected because you know you have S. You know they didn't indicate whether it's two S or what. Since this is S, then they move to P. Meaning it follows Alphabet's principle. Because Alphabet's principle is saying you start with lower energy, then you move to higher energy. So for this model one, whose rule is violated? For the exposure principle is violated, but Alphabet's but Alphabet's rule is what is obeyed here. Do you see that? So the only rule that is obeyed here is the Alphabet's principle because whose rule is violated, they didn't feel it singly. And for the exposure principle is violated, it's not supposed the two electrons is not supposed to end up. So that's for model one. For the second model now, for the second model, let's move to the second model. One, let's see the one that is obeyed. Look at this. Two for the S. P has four. They filled one, two, three, they came back four. So which means for second model, whose rule is obeyed? I want to believe you are following me. Whose rule is obeyed? Let's see which other one is being obeyed. Of course, S to P, lower energy before higher energy. So we move from S, they move to P. So which means alpha balance rule is also obeyed. Let's see. Let's see another one that is obeyed. Let's see from here. Look at that. Your only special principle two is obeyed. Look at that. One is adding up, one is adding down. For this one that asks you, one is adding up, one is adding down. Meaning, our, our polyester principle 2 is obeyed because you can see, add up, add down, add up, add down. So, poly exclusion principle obeyed too. So, which means the three rules are actually obeyed in the second model. Because these are the three rules we need to observe. So whose rule is obeyed here? Alphabet's principle is obeyed. Polyester's principle, principle is obeyed here too. But here, whose rule is violated? Very obvious because they are supposed to fill this singly. They just paired it, so they are supposed to fill singly. So it's violated here. Polyester's principle, principle too is violated because the two is adding up. You no, know, it's like this. The two is adding up. So polyester's principle, principle is violated. But Alphabet's principle is obeyed because they are moving. From S, so because this can actually be the two S, you know, some people will be like, it's not obeyed, it's obeyed because they, they just said S and two is here, so this can actually be the two S, then you move to two P. So, after that principle, two is obeyed here. Yeah. So, this is a way to answer questions. So, if you have done this, then it means you have answered this very particular question correctly. So, please, if you have not watched that video, I'm going to drop the link in the comment section. I'll drop the link of that video in the comment section so that you can watch that video carefully. Okay, when you watch that video carefully, you will know how to write this rule, you know how to write this rule, you know how to write this rule, you know the application. Then from here, you can now use it to answer questions. So, a lot of students that are even understanding when you give them questions like this, they'll be confused because these are technical way to, to set chemistry questions. Even when you know these rules, when they give you a question like this, you'll be confused because. It is technical, and that's the kind of question we are going to be looking at, so that students will find a lot of things easy. So, if you are just watching this channel for the very first time, you need to subscribe to this channel. If you are already a subscriber, I love you guys, but if you are just watching this channel for the very first time, you need to subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook too, Chemistry and that follow us a lot of videos too is going to be dropping there. So, if you are my subscriber from, from YouTube and you don't know we have a, a Facebook page, you definitely have a Facebook page so you can follow us there too because a lot of videos will be dropping there 
on Facebook and follow us Chemistry Hangout on YouTube Chemistry Hangout. So I love you guys. GC student, I'm still coming to drop the second content that will guide us to be able to pass excellent. So that is that for this. And very important, another good news before we conclude the video. I am going to be coming live on Facebook for some topics. A lot of subscribers have reached out to me for some topics and I'll be teaching that live. The reason why I'll be doing that is you'll be able to ask your question directly. I'm going to provide solutions to it. So soonest, I'm going to be dropping the link. I'll be live on Facebook. Most times you're going to be seeing me live on Facebook. So we'll be coming live on Facebook so that our questions. So if you are doing GC, you prepare and still be coming live on Facebook. Some of the you know theoretical questions you are not clear about, the topics you are not clear about, you're gonna be doing that live and you'll be have opportunity to interact with me and ask your question. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be wonderful. So please share this video, tell your colleagues they're gonna benefit from it. Your chemistry and will be coming live on Facebook soon. So till then I love you guys.